Welcome back to the CSC Garage. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to relocate the license plate and delete the mudguard of your SG400. And it's pretty easy, so let's get started. Only a few tools are required to do this job. Here's a couple that I'm gonna use. Uh, number two Phillips screwdriver, some scissors, eight millimeter socket, five millimeter Allen, some wire cutters, and odds and ends for soldering the wires. First thing we want to do is remove the seat and then the right side panel. So I'm going to take the ignition key, remove the seat, and then I've got a five millimeter Allen head screw there and one five millimeter Allen screw here. A couple of grommets on the back side holding this in place. Okay, so you can f kind of follow the wire from the rear fender along the swing arm and see that it comes out here, these two wires. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that zip tie to free up those two bullet style connectors. And I can go ahead and disconnect those. And then I'm gonna feed the wire back through so that we can completely remove that rear tail light and mud guard. There's a couple of little wire holders. And then there's one screw, it's got a five millimeter Allen head on it. We'll get that out of the way. And now we can go ahead and pull up a, one final tab and then remove the mud guard. Now that we have the mud guard removed, Let's take a closer look at what comes with the kit. You've got the mounting bracket for your license plate. You've got an LED light for the license plate. Little piece of Velcro. The, the light has 3M two-sided uh, tape on it and it works pretty well, but I found that Velcro really helps a lot more. It gives it a little bit of play so it's not as rigidly mounted and can hold on a little better. And then of course you've got some hardware to mount that bracket. Some prep work we can kind of do to get things started. We'll go ahead and remove approximately 10 inches of wire from the end of the, the light, the LED light. So we'll measure off 10, somewhere around there. We don't need that full length. And what we want to do is utilize the existing bullet connectors from the rear fender and existing tail light swap out those two ends onto our new LED tail light just for quick access and have those bullet connectors still on the light. Now that we have the 10 inches cut off the end of the LED tail light, we're gonna go ahead and get us enough wire to work with, but we can cut those bullet connectors off of the existing tail light, pull off the sheath, and now we're gonna solder these onto this LED tail light. It doesn't matter which wire goes to which, because we're just gonna be completing the circuit. We're gonna use a soldering gun, some solder, got a little stand to help hold things in place, and then a little bit of heat shrink just to clean things up.
Before we actually mount our bracket, there's a couple things we want to do. One thing, we want to remove the three screws that are existing. We're going to use the longer screws from the kit and the washers to hold that bracket in place. We're also going to go ahead and install the light. But first, let's remove these screws so that we have a little more play in the wire coming from the brake light. This is our eight millimeter socket. Now we're ready to go ahead and mount our license plate light using the Velcro. Before I stick that to the fender though, I'm gonna use some rubbing alcohol and clean that rear fender really well. I want really good adhesion. And now finally we're going to feed our wire over the rear fender and down to our storage area so that we can connect them here. Thanks for joining us once again here at the CSC Garage. I enjoyed showing you just how easy it is to relocate the license plate and delete the mud guard on your SG400. All of these parts can be found through our website. Be sure to check back for more episodes as we continue building up CSC motorcycles. And as always, if you don't do anything else, enjoy the ride.